So if you were looking to impress dinner guests with a beautiful share plate, look no further. Chef MVP is here in our Samsung kitchen, and he's going to be making seared tuna tataki for the Daily Dish. Okay, right off the bat, my friend, let's start by talking about, like, what, what is tataki for those of us that don't know? And I'm one of them who don't know. Yeah, that's, well, that's why I'm in the kitchen. That's why I'm here. So tataki means to pound in Japanese. It means to pound, to flatten. Mm. So essentially, you know, you would take, uh, in years yonder, you would take, like, beef, chicken, uh, pork, for example. In this case, we're using tuna, yeah. uh, which is obviously a big uh, staple in the Japanese diet as well. Mm -hmm. And you would pound it. So hence the name tataki. Hence, it would also like cook a lot faster, more evenly as well. Mm -hmm. um, so tuna tataki. Have you had tuna tataki? I have not had tuna tataki, but I want to give everyone the ingredients so that they can, if not, they're not doing it right now, they can maybe make it this weekend or whatever. So here's what you'll need. You need a tuna steak, some shallots, English cucumber, sesame seeds, limes, and a variety of oils and spices, which MDP is going to show you all about. So... Where do we start yes. with this dish? Yes, absolutely. Just first off, how, how fun is it to say tuna tataki? I just like saying tataki, 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 tataki. tataki. I want you to roll these out with me. Yes. We're going to do four limes. We're just getting our, we're getting a little workout here, Trace. Are we going to tell them why we do the roll other we than do. the fact that it's fun and it's it feels fun. good? It's good. It's good on the palms. <laughs> this is like a workout. We can put this under our calves. <laughs> P.S. Always stretch. Please, if you're working out, I'm sure there'll be another segment on the show. <laughs> stretch, stretch, stretch. Roll, roll, roll. You want to break up all the fibers inside. So essentially, right. we're breaking it up so we can juice it. We're going to put into our mixing bowl here yep. for these. So we're just going to get a good squeeze. Oh. So you can also keep these. So if you're making any kind of like boiled shrimp or any kind of product that you're maybe steaming something, I always yeah. keep my citrus. So like, you know, people throw this out. No. Yeah. Keep it and actually flavor your water. So fresh ginger we've got in here. We've got a little bit of soy sauce going in, light nice. sodium. Uh, yeah. Chili oil. So chili oil, we want to have that nice little spice, a little heat, and a little EVO. Nice. So extra virgin olive oil. We're going to use a different oil moving afterwards, please. Thank you. Whisk, whisk, whisk. I'll just move that knife so nobody gets in trouble here. Thank so you. So as you're doing that, let's move on to our tuna. So this is the big moment. This is a big moment. This yeah. is the showstopper. So yeah. salt, pepper. I want to season it on both sides. Super liberal. Let's get it nice and seasoned. It's very, very lean. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use sesame seeds, which is that little fat component that we're looking for. Okay. Five spice. Five Car spice. Cardamom, anise, mm -hmm. uh, clove. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. We're gonna and you, like your special thing is you take that right out of the freezer and put it down. Like you, I love that you just like said this. seconds so before So this is back. thawed, and I want it exactly. I took that from the freezer, so I want that to be slightly chilled through. So yeah. when we sear this off... Yeah. What this is going to do, this is actually going to give us exactly what we're looking for. So it's going to sear the outside. Yes. And it's going to give us that nice raw in the middle. Please tell me we remember to turn it on. Of course. This Did is we? happening. Yes. This Because we want to hear that. Of course. And the nice thing about this beautiful Samsung cooktop, it yeah. goes. Like, it good. moves. That's quick. Good, good, good. Little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil here as well, too. Okay. I'm going to put some in the pan. Just to get a little sear. And what I'm doing is I'm just coating yeah. both sides. Here's our sesame seeds. We want to do that so they stick. That's you can nice. go all sides. Yeah. But I'm good with just, you know, you can do even just the sides of itself. The thing is, it looks so good too. And just like wait. it's not only just the taste. Wait. I mean, we eat with our eyes, right? We so that looks do. lovely. Get ready. And there. when you're it's actually there. searing it at home, you are not putting that on for a long time. No. This so, is a quick, a fairly quick sear. It is sear. a quick sear. So I want about 15 seconds per side. Okay. So you could either, again, That's some people really can work. Quick. Really quick. I, if it's thicker, you yeah. could go maybe 30, but like 15 to 20 seconds. Yes. Because you just want to, you just want to create a beautiful crust on either oh, side. Oh, I you hear, hear it. That? I hear it. That's beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Well, and this is live time. This is live time. It's real time. While you're doing that, yep. I just, um, and I know it's a quick sear, but just quickly talk to us about picking out the, the right kind of ahi tuna. Like, what are we looking for at the fish Absolutely. Monger? So did you see the color there? It was bright pink. It looked like a it's watermelon. Nice. It does look like a watermelon. Yeah. So you want something that's not turning off gray and sort of, again, like seafood, you want to be able to smell it. If it smells fresh, it smells clean. Yeah. Let's flip this. See, look, that's sear. That's all we're looking for. Like, that is crust it on absolutely stunning we can move that a wee bit nice. and then just let it set it like that's stunning right there it I looks have, good and it because does. it's going to be pretty much close to raw on the inside yep. you actually have to get a good piece of uh of ahi you do that. so sushi grade sashimi grade so grade one grade two yeah. get to know one of your best friends is 
uh, your, your fishmonger mm -hmm. or your butcher. Mm -hmm. Ask questions, right? Ask yeah. questions, ask questions. Check this. Yeah. Like you can see, just see that see beautiful it. sear. You've got that whiteness, that doneness on either side coming through. Yeah. And you've got just, you just want that to rest. That's so gorgeous. we've done one slightly ahead of time here. Have a little nap. Have a little nap. Just go to bed for a little bit. Yeah, That's we'll right. be back with you in a bit. Right? It's like you've done this before. It's like <laughs> telling the audience. We'll be right back after this quick nap. So now we do this beautiful right. uh, and cut. And is there any, is there a key it? to slicing just the... just me up. It's amazing. It's right. <laughs> It's, so you want to go against the grain. Go against so the grain. So you go against the grain. It's almost like a flank steak. Yeah. If you do not go against the grain, it's going to become super tough. Mm -hmm. It's a quick recipe, but what it Super is is you've got to make sure you've got the the best quality ingredients, and you get the sear down pat That's so it. that you are just doing enough. This isn't one of those uh, you know dishes that is cooked within an inch of its life. No, you want because it's going to become shoe leather. That's you want right. this to be super clean. Look at this cucumbers. We're doing this in, this is in live time trace. I know. Right? We've got this rocking here. And again, we want crunch, we want texture. I'm doing those fried shallots. Dinner slash lunch is served. So, T, I, I mean, it looks phenomenal. Come on in here. I worked very hard on this recipe. Mm -hmm. I did nothing, guys. Did you see the ro lime roll out? Yeah. Mm hmm. I saw the action. I saw the action. Dip it in that I sauce. I like that there's different textures. Mm -hmm. And I do like a crunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't like things that are too mushy. Nope. Mm -hmm. So I do like that there's different textures going on here. I do taste a little heat, too. Oh, yeah, you get a little chilly. So I like a little bit of heat in there, yeah. too, as well. You're this getting is a very thumbs nice. up, my friend. You're We're getting good. a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Good. Matt, I also hear um, that you have something special for us in case there's any leftover yes. ahi tuna, yes, if yes, you yes. happen to have any leftovers. Well, that's going to be my leftover, exactly. So yeah. if you do have leftovers, you're having fun, so you can make uh, a beautiful tuna nachos, which I Ooh. actually did, yes. I did with Deepa <laughs> in City Line's new web series, Deepa <laughs> Does It. Their language. Pokey tuna nachos. Yeah. Ooh. Stacked high with a wonton. So the one thing I will say, I'm you've in. got to watch Me the too. show. We had some fun. I actually don't mind eating raw wonton wrappers. Yeah. And Deepa maybe didn't like it, but you got to tune in oh, to watch that. Oh, this okay. is a good tea. So okay. Deepa does it. It's, of course, our newest YouTube series that you can check out every Tuesday at 11 a.m. <laughs> on the City Line YouTube channel. So, Matt... Other than that, any other memorable moments? Or was it just, was it the wonton wrapper controversy? Was there anything else? You know what? I, she did a great job. We all walked away with our fingers and toes. <laughs> Good. Uh, and I, you know, we made friends. Very Everyone's nice. happy. So everyone go check it out on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. And by the way, you can find Matt's seared tuna tataki recipe up on our website. That's cityline.tv.